book lovers and welcome to a coffee table book lounge tutorial on how to cover your photo books. This tutorial will help you to cover your soft or hard cover books with or without dust jackets. Whether you have a few photo books or a larger collection, it is a good idea to consider covering your books to prevent wear and tear and good protection against accidents and humidity. After this video, perhaps you'll want to be inspired by more of our full book flips of the many photo books on our channel and we have hundreds more photo books to post, so stay tuned. There are various methods of covering photo books and we thought we'd share our refined method, which may work for you too. You will need non-stick plastic film or cellophane. We bought this one online described as plastic wrap used by professional florists. It comes in different thicknesses. We bought top quality 38 dash 40 micron thickness though it's still quite thin you want to use an inert and acid-free plastic so as not to damage the book and the one we have found BOPP type plastic is as far as we have found in our research inert humidity and apparently waterproof too however when purchasing the film online as this film is usually used by florists the description may not specify whether the plastic is acid-free or inert we bought the 80 cm by 100 m roll. The 80 cm width can accommodate most large books, except sumo editions. Next, you'll need transparent tape, a thin rod at least 10 cm long. We're using a wooden cooking skewer, scissors, clips, and something to lean the book against. For example, a large book or wall. Unwrap one layer of film. Then place the open book in the center. Depending on the book, you'll want to have around 5 cm of film at the top and bottom, whilst the sides can be quite long. If it is a small book and you have too much length on the sides, you can trim this later, or now. Cut the length from the top with scissors or a Stanley knife, though we found that using such a knife can more easily cause tears. For the spine, you'll have a few options. First, we're going to make the flap for the spine. Cut from the outer edge towards the book, just outside the width of the spine. We prefer to make it slightly wider, though you may want to make it just the width of the spine, as you'll see later. Then, cut down at an angle to create a triangle that you'll pull out. This allows easier folding of the flap later in the process. Some people cut off the middle flap. However, we have found that if you do this, the film can later tear at these points, which are weaknesses, especially if the film is thin as they tend to be. Some people say that you can fold the flap back and insert it behind the spine, using a blunt knife, for example, to push it down. If the book is large enough and has enough space here, you can try this, though you may find that the flap comes out of its own accord or small tears can occur where it was cut. Thus, we prefer to trim the flap slightly, then use tape to secure it down. This method creates a reinforced area that is much less likely to tear. However, aesthetically, it is not quite as neat as cutting the flap off or even inserting it behind the spine. So if you want the spine to appear the neatest, you may want to cut the flap off and perhaps use a small piece of tape over the edge to prevent tearing or hide it behind the spine. Please experiment to find your favorite method. We've used large pieces of tape here to demonstrate the process more easily, though you can use much smaller pieces for a neater appearance. Take the book and center the spine back over the film. Lay the book down, cover the film over the cover. Fold it back behind the front cover and clip it in place. Hold the book against its spine, then lift the film for the back cover up against the back cover, fold it over the back cover, ensure that it is tight and the spine area is still centered 
over the book's spine and clip the back cover with the folded over film. Open the book so that all but the back cover is leaning against the object. Place something with a bit of weight on the back cover to anchor it, though you don't want to damage the spine. With the flat edge of the scissors or a dull knife, press on the edge of the plastic to create a sharper edge to work with. Fold the edge over as so, and use your scissors or knife to again sharpen the edge. Now we will bend the flap over using the rod. If you try to bend the flap over without using the rod, you would find that it buckles at the edge of the book. So to prevent this, take the thin rod and place it over the film just below touching the bottom edge of the cover. Whilst holding the rod down, bend the flap over the rod and edge of the book until it touches the back cover and keep on pulling up towards the top edge of the back cover. Then remove the rod, which will allow you to tighten it a little bit more, then tape down the flap to the folded over plastic. When you have a longer flap of film over the side of the book, for example, if it's a smaller book, you may want to place another piece of tape to secure the bottom flap of the side flap closer toward the spine. Repeat for all four corners. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you. We want to share our passion of photo books and have hundreds more books to post. So if you want to be inspired, stay tuned. Goodbye.